Good day, my name is Simon Browning and here we're going to have a demonstration on how to edit uh, products using the e-commerce interface. On your screen right now you can see one of the product pages from the Notice Me Jeans website, that of the product titled the 2223. Um, in this example we'll look at changing some of the pictures as well as changing the price. And let's just go back to the product listing for a moment. So you can see there's multiple products on here and we could actually edit any of those if we wanted to. So to do this, we are going to need to log into the administrative interface. So I will do that. And once I log in, I am presented with our backhand admin login page. And if I were to click on page, I can of course edit the content on any of the pages on the website, whether it's the home products, conversion chart, testimonials, etc. But in this case, I don't want to be ed editing t uh, page content. I want to edit products. So I need to go to the shop admin. And when I do that, I'm presented with the admin panel. And this admin panel gives me a summary of what's going on on the website in terms of sales. I have my lifetime sales, my average orders, last five orders. In this graph over here, there's nothing happened in the last 24 hours, but I could look at the last seven days, for instance, last month, etc. And there's a, uh, a number of test sales in the system right now. Um, but we want to edit a product. So we're going to go to the catalog menu and select manage products. When I do that, I get a listing of the products that are on the website. Now that product that we wanted to edit was which one? It was the 2223. So 2223 in my list is here. I can click anywhere along this line or I could actually just click the edit button and I'll do that. And what I get now is the details for that particular product. We have a series of tabs down the left side, general, prices, meta information, images, etc., with the content for those tabs presented here. So on the general tab, we have the name of the product and it's called the 2223. It could be called style 2223 or blue jeans 2223, whatever we want that title to be. And we have two description fields, the long description field and the short description. That short description is used in the listing view. So let me switch back for a second. This is the short description and it also shows up in the product page under the quick overview. And then you can see further down the page, there's the product description. That's the longer description field, this one here. Um, we can enter, <coughs> excuse me, the SKU and the weight and a number of other items about this product. There's lots of detail in here, uh, which we can go into at a later time. Um, but to edit the price, what we want to do is go to the prices tab. And there we can see the price. And currently it's $89.99. Let's make it $99.99. Now we also have an opportunity in here to enter a special price. Perhaps it's $79.99. Um, and perhaps it's for a period of time. So we can actually enter start and end dates for that special price. During that period of time, the, the product will show up on the website with a special price. And before or after that period, the special won't exist. Let's get rid of that for now. To edit the images, we click on the Images tab. And right now there's three images loaded, and you can see it says Rollover for Preview. Let me do that. Two, three. Those are the three images that are loaded. We can also uh, associate labels with them, and let's do that actually. This is the rear view. This is the front view. And, oop. and this would be the full view. And notice they have a sort order, 3, 4, and 10. That uh, dictates what order they show up in the thumbnails. So let me uh, go back again for a second. And you can see they're in this order. That's, that was 3, this was 4, and this was 10. If we shuffled that, if we made this 10, for instance, and this 3, they would, they would switch position. We have also over here a series of bullets. Um, there's some decisions to be made. Uh, what image should be the main image, what image should be used on the listing page, or uh, what image should be used in the uh, shopping cart. Oh, that's checkout. The shopping cart. So going back to that page for a moment, um, this one here you can see is selected as base image. That's what's used as the main image. Um, this one is set for small image, that's what's used on the listing page, and it's also set for thumbnail, which is used in the shopping cart. Uh, if we wanted to get rid of one of these images, we didn't want them anymore, um, what we would do is tick the remove button, and I won't do it, but you would click save. 
or save and continue editing. And it would actually remove these from the system. If we wanted to leave them in the system, but not have them being used right now, we could use the exclude fields. And so what that means is it's here, and we can and we can turn it off if we want, but it's basically an image that's not being used yet. Um, when I make my changes, well, let's actually add a file first. So what I want to do is I want to click Browse Files. And where do I have some pictures? Uh, let's select that one. Uh, and I can actually go back and then add more files as well if I wanted to. What I would do is I would click the Upload Files button, and it uploads the files, and the page should refresh, and we can see that it's loaded there now for us as well. Um, and we don't have to select one of these bullets. We just want it to be one of those thumbnails down below. Uh, but if, if we did, of course, select main image or small image, it would show up in the appropriate place. When I've done making my changes, and let me tick this for a remove, what I do is I hit the Save button, which is at the top of the screen, or what I'm actually going to do is save and continue edit. If I hit save, it will save this and close the product and take me back to the listing. But if I hit save and continue edit, it will save and leave me here looking at what I was just editing. So I'll do that. And you can see that that fourth image I had added is gone. So that's how you edit the price and the images. Let's look at one more thing for these products. Let's go through to one of the product pages for a moment. There are options that the purchasers can choose, that being those being the color uh, or the size. To add items or remove items from these lists, we go to the Custom Options tab. When I go to Custom Options, I can see here that we have two custom options. Uh, they're in the blue boxes. One is color and one is size. If there should be an extra option available, maybe it's not only available in black anymore, maybe it's also available in blue, um, what I would do is I'd hit Add a New Row and then I can put my blue and I can change that to say black um, and you do get an, op uh, an opportunity to actually change the price per options which probably isn't relevant for color but it could be relevant with other items maybe custom beading or you know some particular option changes the cost then you could actually change the price based on that option um, and they could have different SKUs as well if you wanted to and then you can also set the order here of the uh, colors so maybe you want blue to show up first and black to show up second, so black 10 and blue 2, the blue will be first in the list. Let me remove that because I don't want to add it. And uh, for sizes, it's the same story. We, had, we added a new drop down called size. It was a type drop down, and these are all the different options. And if I want a new row, I can do that. If I want to remove one of these rows, I just hit the X, and it will actually pull it out for me. And if there is another option that we want to be adding, um, all we need to do is click the Add New Option button, and we have a new area. And so let's say we have an option of, um, oh, I don't, can't think of anything. How about Custom Option? And we select what type it is. Usually they're drop downs. So let's just do that for now. And we'll go into the details on those if required later, but drop downs. And so we have a new option on there, and Add New Row, and uh, Option 1. And another one. Oh, it made it option two. I must have an option one somewhere already. Or maybe I mistyped it. And then once we save, that will be updated on the website. Let me get these out of here right now because we don't want to do that. Uh, and of course, when I'm done, I hit it's either save and continue edit or save. Let's uh, Let's save. So that's an overview of how to change the pricing, change the pictures, uh, even change the descriptions and some of the custom options. Thank you.